hard pressed. I mean, pressed to the brink of hardness. Let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It's six thirty. Do you know where your children are? Anyway, uh, pressing down on something so hard, um, like just the pressure of oh, like uh, uh, coal. When you press down coal, what does it turn into? Coal, diamond, di diamond. Diamonds, yes. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. So if you press down really hard, you get something beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on us. There's a lot of pressure around the world. There's a lot of pressure in the community. There's a lot of pressure in the family. There's a lot of pressure with each other. Uh, or internally, there's pressure. And, and you know, when we have that pressure, um, we kind of like burst and cry out <clears throat> to God. And we, we, we literally are a slobbering piece of mess in God's presence. Um, and I, sometimes I feel like that. Like a snot run, pressed... Crying, you know, arms in the air, I can't do it myself, God, help me please. You know, just when you feel that pressure and you, and you try to keep it in yourself, it just doesn't make sense. It's just like, Wah! you know, um, and we're all like, quiet. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But it's not. And we need to cry out to God and, 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 get, and relieve that pressure. Like a pressure cooker. You know, you can only have so much pressure and then it has to release itself. So, <clears throat> in Psalm 118, verse 5 through 6, it says this. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. Now, when we're, when we're hard pressed, when we're like going through all this pressure, we think we're in jail. We think we're in a little box. We think we're, you know, behind bars. And then when we give it to God, he opens the bars, and we're like in a spacious area. We're in like a field. We're in, a, you know, a field of gold and, and silver and, and wonderfulness. But why didn't we do that before we, before we got that pressure? You know, that's my question in my life. Like, why wouldn't I run to God before I get that pressure? But we know that if we are in that pressure, we can cry out to the Lord, and he gives us gracious space. And here we go. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. And, and here's, here is the coolest part of the scripture. I mean, we should plaster this everywhere. Every Christian should plaster this somewhere in their office, their, in their kitchen, in, in signs, all over the place. Because this is awesome. You ready for this? What can mere mortals do to me? I mean, really, if we have God on our side, now we wouldn't say, what would God do to me? I mean, God can do anything because he's bigger than the universe. But what can mere mortals, what can humans that are not thinking spiritually really can do to us? Nothing. They can't. If they kill us, we go to heaven. If they belittle, belittle us or persecute us, they're doing that to God and we still love our enemies. If they are nice to us, then they're nice to God because God, we're his children. Anything they do to us, they're doing to God. And he has revenge, not us. So, it's like, this is awesome. When we're hard-pressed, we cry to God, He gives us space, and then He says, nobody can do anything to you. Literally. You don't be afraid. You, what can mere mortals do to me? And the answer is nothing. Now, we let them in, and we let them depress us. We let them get angry. I always tell my kids that, you know, um, no one makes you angry. You choose to be angry. See, God gives us choice, and we can be either angry, or we can choose to love our enemy, and just choose to give it to God. We, we don't have to be angry. Nobody makes you angry. Nobody makes you depressed. Nobody makes you hurt. You, you can choose not to be hurt. You can forgive, and confess, and, and help, and repent. So, what do you choose today? Can mere mortals depress you, or hurt you, or make you feel depressed? Or are you going to pick God and let him handle those things and have a gracious space? Gracious space. Gracious, gracious. So let me read this whole thing, and it's awesome. It's a good scripture. Look it up. My encouragement is to write this down somewhere and live it. Here we go. 
When hard-pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? I love you, Jesus. Love you, too. You have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye now. Beautiful.